here's the YouTube vid that I was going to put up on Link to Kijiji, uh, 99 Mustang GT350R. Um, I called it a GT350R just the way I designed it and everything and had it uh, put together. Um, I guess we'll start at the back here. So, uh, full dual exhaust uh, with headers, um, sequential taillights, Euro taillights, uh, Kaminari rear bumper, Celine wing, aluminum fuel door. It's got the original wheels on it right now. It had 18 inch wheels on it. Um, I had four tens in the back here, so I made this custom package tray. It's kind of a, almost like a port through just for the base to come through and the seats are up. Uh, the custom panels I had made were about $3,000. The rear windows are deleted. The back is tapered towards the back for a fastback look. And then the Xenon side scoops for 05 to 09 Mustang were put on there. Um, got the GT side scoops on there. Got the Kaminari side skirts. Color keyed mirrors. Uh, it's got the original LX hood on it. And... Uh, it's got a 67 uh, GT light bar that I put in with uh, fog lights and then original GT fog lights as well underneath. I'll show you under the hood now. So under the hood we've got uh, a cold air intake and a proper cold air intake with a K&N filter on it. Uh, it's got a throttle body spacer it has a Flexolite fan. It is the 232 V6. Um, it also has a super chip. I'll fire it up for you here. The car also has a uh, Viper, uh, I think it's a 791 or 5900 starter alarm combo. There's the underhood, nice clean motor, sounds awesome. Show you the back end out of the exhaust. It doesn't even sound like a V6. trunk for you. Battery has been relocated to the back. As you can see, really, really clean trunk all the way through. Um, I actually replaced this panel, uh, took out the cheap cardboard one that was that had the carpet on it, and I carpeted a piece of uh, 3.8 MDF back there. So nice and solid, cuts down road noise. Um, another thing that cuts down road noise on here is the car has been fully dynamatic. The whole trunk, the floor, the headliner, um, the doors, everything, right except for this rear quarter panel. That's the only part that uh, that has not been dynamated yet. Uh, there's the custom GT350R emblem that I made for it. Out of quarter inch aluminum. A few little transformer accents that I put on it, also made out of aluminum. And the side ones are made out of plexiglass. I'm going to roll up the windows here so it gets nice and quiet. Uh, Pioneer Premier uh, DEH uh, P860 MP deck. Um, this deck actually runs uh, the tweeters and the mids up here uh, as a um, high and mid system, not as a front and rear system. There's no rear speakers because uh, it, um, it was a competition uh, stereo that was in here. Uh, the deck has the crossover and everything built in. Um, Infinity Kappa 6.1 perfect components in here. Um, as you can see, pretty clean interior. It's got a few stains and stuff, but I'm going to see if I can actually uh, take the seats, take the cloth off the seats and, uh, and wash them and then put it back together. Uh, the carpet I took out of the car and took it down to the, uh, 
laundromat and put it into the washing machine. They have a giant jumbo washing machine with uh, a couple packs of uh, black dye and it turned out really, really nice. Um, what else can I tell you about the inside of this car? Uh, not much. Let's uh, go for a little burn. So the flasher on there is slow because of the fact that I've uh, I've actually um, slowed it down for the uh, for the sequential tail lights. So when you're just driving normally, the um, the super chip gives it pretty decent shifts. Uh, but when you put the uh, when you put the pedal to the metal, it'll trip the tires in second. And from a little V6, it's pretty impressive. A V6 from 1999, anyway. Let's tromp it. quick for a little v6 and the uh, the motor has uh, 80,000 kilometers on it it was taken out of a 2001 uh, Mustang and I actually heard the motor running the motor that was in this one uh, a friend of mine borrowed the car and she ran over something um, and put a giant hole in the oil pan and it drained all the oil out and then the next day she went to bring it back to me and it just and it died it seized um, so I put a motor in it last year that motor dropped a valve, lasted for about two hours, and then completely piled. So I was kind of uh, kind of disheartened. So I found another motor here for 850 bucks. Went down, had to listen to it in the vehicle, which was nice because I was able to hear it run before I bought it. Um, and the transmission actually has uh, 80,000 on it as well. It's out of a 2000 uh, Mustang, and because um, the other one was having shifting problems. So the drivetrain in this car literally has 80,000 kilometers on it. The car may show 209. Um, it's been very well maintained. Has, um, also has uh, cross-drilled slotted rotors in the back. It had it all the way around, but the front ones wore out just from driving, and uh, when I replaced them, I replaced them with uh, original equipment ones. Um, so, there you go. Um, I'm gonna show you just a, a few little negative things about the car. Keep in mind this car is, um, you know, the paint on this car is five years old. It has been in a, a few little bumps. It's got a few little scrapes. Somebody actually did a hit and run on me. And if you can see the, if you can actually see the dent, it can be, it can be pulled. The only part where it's actually, the paint is actually cracked is right here. There's a little crack right there. Right here would probably have to be refinished, but the rest of it could just be pulled. Um, other than that, uh, on the side here, just some fiberglass work that needs to be done down there. A um, little bit of gloss coat, you know, coming off the top here. And right there, I backed into uh, I backed into a little Honda in the rain. I couldn't even see him. He was so close to the back of me, or so close to the back end of my car. A um, little bit of water inside the tail light there. Not hard to do. You just got to clean it out and then seal it. Um, a little bit of water in that light and then in this light here this light is actually um, I set it in there and, and tied it in properly but the original mounts are broken so as you can see a little bit of a fender bender right there so nothing major nothing structural nothing like that um, there is some cracks in the windshield right there this one here is kind of in my field of vision so that's one of those cracks that might have to be replaced. You can get a windshield, to find the right person, you can get a windshield put in this thing for about $100. And a uh, broken cowl right there. So there you go, that rounds it out. Hope you like it.